What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Fluffy Gamer. I am back. Today is Monday, March 11th. Yesterday was Mario Day, March 10th. Mario. I didn't care. But anyways, today, Monday, March the 11th, I went up to Escondido and I hit up the local valley thrift store i'm glad i went up there i got up there pretty late i was hoping to get up there a little earlier than normal i got up there right around six o'clock they used to close at six o'clock they are now open till seven they were not that busy walked inside went straight to the dvd slash blu-ray slash video game section there was nobody there i had it all to myself and there was some things to be picked up. So I grabbed four DVDs and I even found some video games. I found and picked up three video games that are gonna be all going up on the bay as soon as I get home. I'm gonna take some pictures, gonna list these. So if you see any of these and you're interested, take a look at my eBay channel. They should be available, if not by tonight, by tomorrow, by Tuesday the 12th. But let's get into the finds of the day. Today, I, I, I like I said, I picked up four DVDs and three video games. One of the DVD, well, one of the video games, are, the movies are all two bucks each. Uh, one of the games was for whatever reason marked two ninety nine, so three dollars, and the other two for whatever reason were four ninety nine. But altogether, with tax, I spent a total of twenty three dollars and some change. I am probably gonna get at least a hundred dollars or a little bit more uh in sales just from picking up these items so let's start with the movies the first thing i came across is the warner brothers uh i don't know anything about it you know the the picture of it kind of caught my attention and i was like you know it might, it might be worth checking uh taking a look and scanning it and i should be able to get minimum 10 to 15 bucks I don't know who this actor is. His name is Amy Irvin. It's a movie called Crossing Delancey. And the slogan says, A funny movie about getting serious. Yeah. That caught my attention. Scanned it. It's going to be going up on the bay. Pay two bucks. Disc is in great shape. Great shape. I always check the discs. Oh, no. I, I, I'm seeing some light scuffs. On one side of it but other than that's in pretty good shape so I'm not gonna list it very good I'll list it as good and I'll note in the description light scuffs very light scuffs not gonna damage not gonna hinder the disc from being able to be watched so going up on the bay pay two bucks can turn it into at least ten next we got a, a anchor bay flick I don't think I've seen this one before as well but whenever you look at the spines you see that Inca Bay logo? Definitely gets my attention. Uh, this is an older film. Saw the actress on the back. I was like, okay, I won't mind checking this out. Maybe giving it a watch if I have time. It's a Miramax film put out by Anchor Bay. Uh, starring Bla uh, Bla Blair Brown, Bruno Gons, and Bridget Fonda in a movie called Strapless. I don't know who plays that character, but... Um, it says, and one man will change their lives forever. Cisco and Ebert gives it two thumbs up. When I scanned it, I gave it two thumbs up because this is going for over 20 bucks plus shipping. Disc again is in great shape. Uh, pretty sure. Oh, yeah, this one is beautiful. This one is mint. Very good shape. Complete. Case is in great shape. Going up on the bay, going to get minimum 20 bucks. There we got 30 bucks right there. Boom. And then this one I just found. I, I've never come across the actual like DVD case. It's always the snapback cases. I, I want to say this is a, a Warner Brothers archive release because it is a DVD-R. The back of it is from Warner Brothers. So it's got the... It, normally when you see Warner Brothers archive, it's going to be dark blue. But this is actually kind of a, like a black for some reason. It doesn't say anything on the front, but I have this available. It's going to sell pretty soon. 
Uh, I got a lot of people watching. It's going to sell for like 10 bucks. This is also going to sell for 10 bucks. And that is a movie with Rick Moranis and Ed O'Neill in Little Giants. Different variant. Never seen this before. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Warner Brothers archive. It's got an official label on there. And then on the back, it's a DVD-R. So it's a burn disc. It's a on-demand, burn on-demand. So when you order it, if you're like Amazon or Warner Brothers, that's when they make your movie. And they send it off to you. So this was already purchased and donated and picked up again. And somebody else is going to buy it. Should be able to get at least 10 bucks. This is a great movie. Great movie. Been a while since I've seen it, but I remember enjoying that one. I remember watching it several times on HBO back in the day. Uh, this one right here, the last one that I picked up, I tried to do some research. Couldn't find anything on eBay. Uh, couldn't find anything on Amazon. I finally did more research after I just bought it anyways. Two bucks. I'm just going to grab it anyways. Um, I don't know anything about it, but it's a horror. I want to say trilogy, but it's it's. I don't know how many is in it, but it's, it's a collection. Apparently, this is like uh, from Brazil or Portuguese. A lot of uh, one of the one of the films is, is all in the audio is all in Portuguese, and I finally found uh, somewhere online, whether it be through Amazon or even Walmart. I think it was Amazon. I found the reviews, horrible reviews. The picture quality is crap, but you there none of none is available. There's none in stock anywhere. Can't find it anywhere. But I'm assuming. You know, seeing that they're going new for like 35, used for 28. Being that there's none available, there's somebody that really wants it. I might be able to squeeze out maybe 20 bucks. That's what I'm hoping for. So right now we got $40 right here. 40. So I'm hoping 60 for a collection called a werewolf in the Amazon from Paul Nashy. Uh, N a s c h y. Or maybe he's the actor. Maybe he's the one that plays the werewolf. Maybe. But yeah, Paul Nashi is a werewolf in the Amazon. Tried to, tried to do some research. Couldn't find much. I finally found some stuff. But uh, the reviews, not good. But uh, it is a three-disc set. The discs are in pretty good shape. And it also comes with... And I didn't realize until I was re reading the reviews... Uh, chapter insert and a poster so I imagine I'll find somebody who's going to want to buy this it's in great shape and I'm assuming being that you can't find it anywhere I have a feeling this is probably going to sell quick if anybody's looking for it a werewolf in the Amazon collection on DB Dizzle going up on the bay kind of curious to watch see if it's any good but I guess the picture quality is crap but um that and I guess one of the movies is all in Portuguese, so you, maybe there's no subtitles, and people were complaining about that. So, watching it but not knowing what they're saying. So, going up on the bay if you're interested. So, we'll say 20 for that. So, 20, 30, 40, a little 60 bucks right there. And then for the movies, this one was at $4.99. I'm assuming this, is, this was about sold, used at a GameStop. It looks like a GameStop sticker. Thank you. Oh, no, it says new. So maybe a video game store. But originally it was $19.99. And that is Street V3 for the PlayStation 2. Case is in great shape. The Valley Thrift Store had a mark for $4.99. It is complete. The disc is immaculate, which is pretty rare to come across at a thrift store. There are some fingerprints on there, but it should clean up pretty, pretty nice. Oh, I do see some very light scratches on there. Very light scuffs, but normally they, when you look at the games at thrift stores, they're usually, uh, they've been through the ringer, but uh, the manual's in great shape. I don't know if there's a uh, registration card or if there ever was one. Doesn't look like it, but uh, should be able to get close to 20. Probably going to be more like 15 plus shipping, so we'll say 15 bucks. So that's going to put me at 75, 75 total. In finds for the day at the Valley Thrift Store. Uh, the next game that I picked up, I knew it was worth a little bit of money, but I didn't know it was going for like 30 bucks. So this one is Guitar Hero Metallica. On the PS2, 
They had it marked for $2.99 on that one. Don't know why. But it was $2.99. Complete with the manual. And again, the disc is in. And I'm very happy about that. A couple fingerprints, not seeing any scratches or anything. Great shape. Going up on. Oh, no, there's still like a couple light scuffs on the outer edge. But yeah, pretty great. Pretty good shape. Going up on the bay. Probably listed at 25 plus shipping. So that's 65, 70. So it's going to put me at 90 right there. And then the last one. I found these before. And I know like the newer ones have a lot of values. They seem to drop some. Uh, NCAA football, especially uh, 13 and 14. And even 12 was going for about 20 to 25 bucks depending on condition but then i found this one for the ps2 ncaa football 11 they had a mark for five i'm like ah i just scanned it anyways and surprisingly this has gone up and is going for 30 bucks ncaa football for the ps2 uh 11 they had a mark for 4.99 also complete these ones, a lot of these ones, the, the manuals came out in like black and white for whatever reason. Maybe they were a second printing or something like that. Not sure. But uh, manual seems to be in good sh a good shape as well as the, the disc. This one is in mint condition. I don't see no scuffs, no scratches. Uh, one, maybe two little tiny fingerprints. And that's it. Going for 30 bucks. So... 90 plus 30 should be able to at least get 30 120 dollars for 23 bucks not a bad day going up on the bay if you're interested that's going to do it for today march 11th monday till next time i will see you guys whenever that is have you seen my last video i uploaded that we were all out in vegas me the ogp and the wet one if you haven't seen it go back and check it out it's a fun one a little long 39 minutes but uh it's it's a lot of fun so check that out if you haven't. Until next time, bye-bye.